Okay. Can I get permission to record, please, Matt? Yeah. <coughs> Just give me the thumbs up to go. Yeah, good for you, Jamie. Thank you. <coughs> awesome. Sam, uh, hiya. hiya, how's it going? Taking on France this weekend, then you came off the bench against them in the spring, is that right? Yeah, that's what, the one. What was your, your memories of that? And I suppose it was a it was a victory that not many people expected Scotland to pick up. Might it be the same again this weekend? Um, hopefully the result will be the same, yeah. Um, I, we definitely believed we could win last, last time around. Um, and uh, we put in a performance that uh, we, th we knew we could do and we backed it up. So that's going to be the plan for this weekend to back up what we, we did the previous time. Um, be physical, be aggressive and yeah, I'm sure, sure we can get the job done. You obviously have come into camp on the back of a, an amazing season for Exeter, uh, for the club, picking up the silverware as you have done. With the four of you now from the, the, the Scotland squad there at Sandy Park, is there an element of the culture of, of, of even just the, the momentum and, the, and, the, and the, the winning feeling around Exeter that you're able to import into the Scotland camp? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a question for how the other guys feel. Um, from my perspective, we've, we've come into the camp um, a little bit later than the rest of the boys and, and the culture's been brilliant, to be honest. Um, it feel, feels like a winning culture. Um, obviously, the results have, have spoken for themselves and uh, this will be our biggest test so far with a big game on the weekend, but yeah, the culture is really good. Um, it feels quite similar to Chiefs in, in that respect. Um, hopefully, we can add, you know, what we've what we've learned from our experiences with Exeter. But I've certainly enjoyed coming to camp, and I've also enjoyed the fact that there's four of us now. And yeah, it's a nice feeling. Cheers. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, Charles. Hello, Sam. Um, watching from the bench at the weekend, what was the biggest thing that you took from the performance, especially the second half? I think it was just our ability to close out and, and get the win and ultimately get the bonus point as well. Um, I think we showed maturity. I think we were calm. Um, you know, there was a time where we probably could have taken the points, which might have brought us level, but we backed our set piece quality, um, which has been a big area for us this campaign. And um, yeah, we showed the ability to, to get the job done and, and finish the game off, which, which is good. And it's exciting that we, when it comes to those important minutes in the last 20, we're a team that know how to get, get across the whitewash, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, it might, might be a similar case this weekend and hopefully we can share maturity again and, and get the job done. One of the big things about the, the result against the French in the spring was the way in which, I guess, the pack fronted up and kind of dominated the game. Do you feel now as a pack that you've got a group of forwards that can match up with anybody? Definitely. Um, I personally feel I feel great about the quality of the, the pack we've got. When you look at the individuals, you look at the coaching we've got. Um, all the boys seem to be on on this, you know, on the same wavelength, and uh, there's the, there's trust in there in terms of knowing what individuals can do what, and um, we seem to be playing to our strengths well. So we're still there's still a process to go. You know, we're not perfect, but we're we're building well, and um, hopefully we'll take another step forward this weekend. Thanks, Charles. Andy. Hi Sam, just uh, going back to what Jamie was talking about there, obviously your, your, your time with Exeter and everything you've achieved over the last couple of years, I mean, being a European and a, and a Premiership champion now, what, what has that done for your own belief levels, you know, are, are you walking a wee bit taller, or you got a wee bit more of a, a swagger on now, knowing that you've got those those big achievements in, in, in your locker? No, I, I definitely don't have a swagger, <laughs> definitely don't have a swagger. Um, especially with this hanging moustache on my face at the minute, but um, yeah, there's definitely a confidence um, you get and you can feel that with, with extra boys. And we've got players in the Edinburgh and Glasgow squad that have also won massive games and, and have been extremely successful. So I think across the board, everyone knows how to win and knows what's required in really big games. But for me personally, I've, I've learned from previous losses and I've learned from, from now some recent wins, whether or not I've been starting or on the bench. And yeah, uh, I guess just constantly learning and that experience is only going to help going forward. Um, but yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely no swagger. I think that's what's good about our culture at the minute. Everyone's pretty humble. Um, it's sort of just about working hard and there's no, there's no egos, which is, which is nice. Is that one experience going to be vital though of Scotland 
or to make the sort of kind of steps forward that, that they're hoping to do. And, you know, having guys that have been over the course and know what it takes to, you know, to get across the, the, the winning lane and big club. Well, it can't be a bad thing. So the more success we have at our own clubs, um, you know, hopefully that will reflect within the Scotland squad as well. And it's just making sure that when we come together, we are all sort of singing off the same home sheet as it were and making sure we're, we're going in the right direction together. Thanks, Sam. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thanks, Andy. Uh, move on to the NPM embargo section now. Uh, Richard, would you like to get us underway? <laughs> 